and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, now we've done puzzles that look like pictures before, but this is one of the best I've ever seen. Look at the pedestrian here in a road sign, um, either being told to cross the road or not to. I think it's brilliant. The, the puzzle's called Soft Spoken Pedestrian by A. Peterson. So that's what we're looking at. Um, and I loved it. I love the idea of this. Maybe the arrows are even showing in which way to go. I don't know. But anyway, uh, that is a very clever design of a puzzle. And we shall see how the puzzle actually plays in a moment. I do want to mention, very important, that coming up on Saturday at 4pm, we will be publishing The Puzzle Pyramid, um, a Sudoku hunt. No, not a Sudoku hunt, a puzzle hunt. A Sudoku and puzzle hunt by three very distinguished constructors. We are really looking forward to you getting a look at that. That'll be on Patreon, where there'll still be a couple of days to finish off our CTC Mexican standoff hunt, much smaller hunt, which is ongoing and which will be um, running until the 20th, when we will close the date for drawing a winner. Um, and very good compliments on that from the people who've sent in answers. There are lots of them, well over 200 now. Thank you if you have, and thank you if you are with us on Patreon. Do do think about joining for the Puzzle Pyramid if you haven't already. Also, of course, on the links under the video, you can find your way to our merchandise, our apps, Sven Sudoku Pad. The merchandise has been going very well lately, um, which is great. So anyway, thank you for anything you do to support the channel or, uh, or kind comments, which are always welcome. But let's have a look at this puzzle now. So... Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along a thermo, and there is only one of them, increase from the bulb. So that is smaller than that, is smaller than that, is smaller than that. Digits along an arrow sum to the number in the circle. So those three digits must add up to whatever that is. Now the green lines are German whisper lines. Neighbouring digits on a green line, so consider those two, they must have a difference of at least five. So you could put one and six there, or one and nine, but not two and six. Um, so that's what we get. We get one given digit, how generous. Um, maybe that's the speed at which the pedestrian is allowed to walk. I've entirely made that up. And uh, let's have a go. Do try it on the link under the video. I'm gonna give it a start now. Let's get cracking. And how do we start this? Well, we can always, find a three cell arrow where the numbers all see each other and know that they must be at least one, two, and three. So those must be six, seven, eight, or nine. Um, and we don't have a lot else to go on. So let's think about the German whisper lines. Okay, it's something we can do with the German whisper line, certainly when we get started on it, is to Divide it into high and low digits, by which I mean digits above five or below five. Five can never be on a German whisper line because the neighbouring digit can never be five away. There just aren't any Sudoku digits that follow that. So, so the line divides into digits over five and digits under five, and it has to alternate between them to follow the rule. So what I'm going to do is colour every other cell along this big line. Let's go purple. And then I'm gonna color these a different color. Now I'm not using blue and orange yet because I don't know which is high and which is low. So I'm gonna hope to convert purple and green into blue for low or orange for high at some point. And that's not been all that helpful. These cells barely see each other. The thing to remember about blue and orange in this sort of colouring is that there can only be four blue, four orange in any row, column or box. And that might help us colour the rest of the grid and give us other numbers, but we haven't made much progress. Ah, let's consider this cell. Uh, how do we refer to that? Let's call it the pedestrian's posterior. Um, the pedestrian's posterior is quite interesting because the lowest digit it could be, given the thermometer, is a four. And it cannot be a four, that's lovely, because these knees would both have to be nines. They're both touching this posterior on the uh, German whispers lines. 
So a digit that's five away from four, the only Sudoku digit available is nine. We obviously can't make them both nines, so that's not a four. It's also not a five because it's on a German whisper line. You couldn't fill them with anything. So it is a high digit, and I'm going to make that orange. It can't be six for the same reason it can't be four. They would both be ones. So this is seven, eight, or nine. Now, what does that tell us? Five can be on this line, but only there. Is that a five and is this low? In fact, what is this? Is this, ah, if this is high, it has to be a seven. If it's low, it can't be a four again because they can't both be nines. So if it's high, it's a seven. can't be a six because they'd both be ones. Yeah, that's right. So it can't be six, five, or four. Can't be one because it's not on the head, uh, the bulb. So it's seven, three, or two. Now, if it was a three, that would be eight, nine, and that would be seven. And that would be one and two. Now, is there a way of determining if it was a seven, this would go seven, eight, nine. There'd be three oranges there. Purple would have to be blue. So these would both be orange. In fact, these are both orange. Let's fill them in because this line must alternate. Now we know that's high. These, these knees must be low and the feet must be high. So if, if blue, yes, if they were all orange, purple is blue, Green is orange. We get all four used up here. We get seven, eight, nine on the line. This would have to be one and two. That would be three and four. Eight and nine would be here. Six and s oh, I think it does work so far can't see why it doesn't. Okay, what if this was low? Maybe that would break. If this was low, that would be low, and then we'd have three blues. So orange, purple and green would be the other way around. So if this is low, that would be low. Purple would now have to be high. Green would be blue. That's all four blues in this box. Oh, how are you going to fill this line, this, this arrow? There's no way. Yeah, 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 this is it. Right, if this was blue, three or two, that would make this blue. It would be two or one. These would both be blue, including a four for what that's worth. Doesn't really matter. You'd have three blues here, and this line, try and imagine that line without at least two blues on it. You would have to have, well, you can't even have five. You'd have to have six and seven on it. So that's adding up to 13 plus another digit. This would be 14 at a minimum. That is complete nonsense, bobbins, balderdash, piffle, or tripe. And this is high. This is a seven. So, well, that gives us the rest of, well, the higher bits of the thermo, eight and nine. That is high. Oh, I've just noticed these are definitely high anyway. Um... Now the head. Now these purples see three oranges, so they become blue. Purple is blue in this puzzle. Green is orange. There we go. Now we're down to two colours, and they are useful colours. Now these are blue on this line. The hands are orange. Uh, we've got four blues. One of these is a five... And I don't know which one. Do I know which one? No, hang on. Let's... Ah, yes, I do. This can't be orange because of column four having four oranges in already. So that's going to have to be five. I think I might give five a colour. Let's make five yellow. And that's not five. This is now orange. And in fact, we've got a six, seven pair there. If that was a six, this would be a one... Don't know. That could still be either. Ah, this is a 1-2 pair to be touching a 7. That means this is a 3-4 pair. We have an 8-9 on the feet. 
This is six and seven because they're the other high digits. Six now can't be in these cells or that one. So this is six on the head. That's an eight, nine pair forming a deadly pattern that will be resolved by whispers in some way. Um, we've got all the oranges in column four and six. In fact, we've got the yellow in column four as well. So the rest are blue. Oh, um, one of those is yellow and one is blue. So this must be blue. Yellow is in one of these two cells. Five is in those. So now seven can't be on this line. So they're all blue. But I don't know what they are. In fact, this can't be seven because of the seven here. So this can't be one, two, four. So the other digit isn't a three. It's one, two or four. It's not very useful. Um, Right. Now, what do we label next? These can't be orange because we've got eight to fill in on this line, but they could include five. So they're blue or yellow. Let's do that. Well, I don't know. I know. Let's not do that because it implies that five is definitely there and it could be there instead. Um, OK, what else can we do? Six, seven, eight, nine. We've got a lot of kind of colored now. Five. Ah, oh, five in this box is in one of those two cells, and it can't be there because that would be five. So now we've placed five there. Don't know here. That is the only place for five in row four. So everything else here is orange or blue. Now these can't be orange. Yes, it couldn't be seven equals six plus one because six would be forced over there. So they're definitely blue. So that's orange. And in fact, that's eight because that's all that's left in this row. Uh, doesn't necessarily make this eight because we've got another orange and blue to put in here. And here. Ah, one of these is six and one of them is seven. So this has to be a one because one of those is definitely six. Also these two, I suppose they have to be one and two if they're touching six and seven. That doesn't tell us much about these because it's, it's not that limiting, but we've got two, three or four here and here, this can't be a four because it's touching eight and nine. So that's two or three. Um, can we do anything else like that? We've used five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now this is either four, three or four, two. So four is definitely used there and one definitely isn't. So those are from one, two and three. These are from six, seven, and nine because they can't be eight. That doesn't quite form a triple. These are either one, two, three equals six, one, three, four equals eight, or two, three, four equals nine. Okay, so seven's in one of these two cells. Not very useful, I imagine. Um, right, what else is going on? The thing is, ones and sixes can repeat on this sort of line almost all the way. So that is four and two or four and three. So one of these is a one. That's not very helpful. That's not helpful. This could even be a six, six, seven, eight, nine up here. So... Okay, what a, right, I've got orange here. Okay, sorry, I've got four blue in this box. Yellow five has to be in one of those two cells. So these two are definitely orange. Um, bum, bum, bum. At least two of these are blue. 
but this time there could be a 6 or a 5 on the line. Ah, this row, we've got a 1, 2 and an 8, 9 pair. This also can't be 5. Ah, this can't be 3 or 4 either, because it's the same digit in those two cells, and there's a 3, 4 pair looking at that. So this has to be 6 or 7, and is orange, and that's all four oranges and a yellow in column 2. So they're all blue. That's blue. This cell doesn't have to be the same as that one. Um, ah, that's a six, seven, nine triple. So this is eight in the circle. That's really clever. That's very neat. Uh, these two are blue to make up the numbers in box four. Now, what? That's one of each. Oh, that must be a three, four pair because of the one, two pair in row four. So that's three or four. That's not. That's one or two like this. So that number, whatever it is, is not this one. It has to appear somewhere else here. And this, if that is blue, it would be three or four. Well, it can't be six. Oh, it can't be five either. Because if that was five here, that would be a two one pair to make up the eight sum. And that would explode this cell. So this has to be low and it has to be three or four has to be the same as that and up here somewhere, because it's not the same as this. Oh, well, the same applies. You can't put a five on this line. It has to be three blues. Um, and if that's, it has to be one, three, four to make eight if it's three blues. So the two in the box is here. And that makes this a 1. The 2 makes this a 7. That makes this a 6. That fixes 7 here and 6 here. We're away now. That 7 takes 2 out of those cells and 3 out of that one. This can't be 6 anymore. That's a 1, 3, 4 triple. Whatever this is appears up there somewhere, but that's not... Oh, this has to be orange, because there's four blues in the box and it sees yellow. And this is orange, because more importantly, there's four blues and a yellow in the column. In fact, these are all orange because of the blues and yellow up here and have been for ages. That's a domino I can't identify between, well, orange and yellow. One's a five and the other is something else. Um, right, that cell is now the same as this one, so it's not a one. And look, that's a brilliant three, four pair, making this a one. So that one doesn't appear here. In box one, it's there. This is a two, three, four triple. I don't know why I said seven could be in that cell when it's not a high cell, so seven is there. Now, hang on, that has to be the same as this. So they're either two or four. Three can come out of that. One can come out of that. This can't be a six as a result of that not being a one. Um, that could still be six, though, with one there. Right, come on, we're getting somewhere now. This is a very neat puzzle. Really impressive. Um, fives. The, the five is there in the top row, so this is not... Oh, I just don't know whether that's blue or... Yes, I do. I must know what this is. This is five. Right. We've got four blue and four orange in the row. So that's five. This must be blue. That's all four blues. So this two... Is this, this domino is an orange yellow pair? Um, we've got an eight nine pair in this column. That can't be one. Ah, seven. No, I thought I was going to be able to say 
that couldn't be a 1 because this can be back. Oh, this can't be a 2. Yes, that's right. That is a 1. That's a 2. This can't be 6. So the only place for 6 in the row is there. So that's touching a 1. This is now 7. This is 9. Oh, we might be able to get a lot of... No, I was going to say that will help us do a lot of... Uh... Oh, 7 on that arrow makes that a 7. And it's there. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. What can we do? That's a 6-9 pair in column 3. Thought we might be able to disambiguate all the highs, is what I was thinking, and I was wildly premature. That's 6 or 8. It can still be 6 again. No, it can't. This has become a 2. So that's not 6. That's 8 now. So where's 6 in one of those two cells, along with 1 in the other one? So, okay, we can do that. We can colour them. We're nearly finished on the colouring now. Just box 9 to go, virtually. Uh, that's 3 or 4. Oh, the 1 in this box is resolved. Oh, so this can't be 9 anymore, because that can't be 2, 3, 4. It's 6 or 8. Um, 7 or 8, 2, 3, 4. That's 5 or 9. That's 5, 6 or 9. Up here, we've still got 6, 8 and 9 to put in. How is this? I mean, I must be missing something on the whisper line, surely. If that was a 4, I could have 9s both sides. That's sort of an ugly, uh, deadly pattern until probably they will resolve it. The knees. 1, 7, 5. That is 2, 3, or 4, obviously. I don't even know. Oh, 1 in this box. Can't be in any of those cells. It's there. How am I not spotting that quicker? Come on. Um, that's 2, 3, or 4 as well. Now, 5's in one of these two, along with a low digit. Ah, okay. We've got four blues here. So those are orange or yellow. I don't know where the yep, where the five is. Right, eight is looking at that cell. Right, come on. So six is one plus three plus two. We get a four there. That has to be surrounded by nines, which is very helpful. I think it gives us an eight there. That's fixed these knees. Eight can't be next to four. Um, this has become a four. This hasn't been resolved. That three, four pair is done. So box six is our first, no, our second box to be fully finished. Five or nine there. That's a five, six, nine triple. So these are from 2, 3, and 7, and this one must be a 7 because it sees 2 and 3, which is weird at this stage for that to come out. This must be blue. Still don't know where yellow definitely is in the row. Now, 7 there gives us a 7 up here. Oh, I don't know what's gone wrong with the colouring there. I'm trying to put a 7 in it. This becomes a 5. And... Oh no, I was going to say that finishes off the fives. It makes this a nine. That does, these are both not yellow anymore. They're orange. This one has to be eight. This is all working now. Eight is there. This becomes six. This becomes five. That is definitely fully yellow. This one is orange and is nine. Nine, nine. We get a nine here. Oh, in fact, that's an 8. That's a 6. Now, surely, all my big numbers are going to be finished. 8, 9, I need to put a 6 in. It's got to go there. I think that's all the big numbers done. So, small numbers next. That is fine. That's the last German whisper number to go, and I don't know what it is. Okay. Um... Ooh, how am I going to disambiguate my remaining 
numbers. 18674 has to be here. That can't be 2, so it's either 3 or 5. So 4 goes in here, right. That's going to do quite a lot of it. 4 there, 3. No, it's not. It only did a little of it. That's not a 3. Uh, that's low. 2, 3, and 5. That's 2 or 5. So I've got these sort of deadlies again. Okay, I'm missing something then. Is it an arrow? Yes, it is. It's a single cell arrow. There we go. 3 there. So that's not a 3 now. Am I still missing something? I've got all the arrows now. I've got all the German Whisper apart from that, which can equally be two or three. That can't be a four, so it's two. Right, three, four, two, four. That central three means five, two, three. Let's finish off the coloring then. Those two are yellow. These two are blue. And we've got one last triple in a very clever and very pretty puzzle that has been as excellent a solve as it was a picture. So let's get rid of the colouring again just to admire the pedestrian, the soft-spoken pedestrian um, being allowed, I hope, to cross the road here. Fantastic puzzle. Thank you, A. Peterson, for sending that. That is really clever. Thank you for watching. Do join us on Patreon soon and uh, oh I think we might be streaming tomorrow as well. Um, Simon is interested in the recommendation for Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes so we might be doing that at 10 p.m. tomorrow night if he feels well enough after his booster so we'll see how that goes. Hope to see you then um, but obviously on the channel Simon will be up tomorrow before that I'll be up at 11 again and uh, see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.